Why, hi there, I'm Ron Zuckett, and welcome to 1946 Boston Red Sox Cyber Replay. We thought with this one, before we get into our game between the Boston Red Sox and the Detroit Tigers, give you a look at the standings and some of the leaders of Ron Baseball. <coughs> Excuse me. In the American League, the Red Sox are in first place by one game over the Detroit Tigers and one over the New York Yankees. Two and a half over the surprising St. Louis Browns, four over Cleveland, in Chicago, four and a half over Washington and seven over the Philadelphia Athletics. You will see them play at home this week, the Detroit Tigers next, and then the Friday game will be at home against the Cleveland Indians. In the National League, the Chicago Cubs still hold a one and a half game lead over the Boston Braves. Brooklyn Dodgers are in third, tied with the Cincinnati Reds. The Phillies are three and a half back. The Giants and Cardinals are four and a half back. With Pittsburgh and dead last at five and nine, five games back. Dom DiMaggio leads the Matrix in hitting. He's hitting 421. Katvich Mekovic is, is the seventh leading hitter in all of baseball at 370. Boo Ferris has a point six seven ERA. That's good for sixth in all of baseball. Dave Coslow has not allowed and Smith for Chicago, the White Sox, has not allowed an earned run yet. As far as a win. As are concerned, a number of pitchers have three, including Harris, Tex Houston, and Boo Ferris for Boston with three. Tex Houston leads the majors in strikeouts of 29. Harris is 13 walks for Boston. A Johnny Pesky is would be considered an all-star for ever. Why are the Red Sox so good? Well, they can hit the ball. They're leading the majors and hitting at 301. All right, in a second, it's baseball from Fenway Park. The Tigers and the Red Sox next. And on this last day of April, 1946, we got ourselves a doozy today from Fenway Park. It is the Boston Red Sox and the Detroit Tigers, the first time that they've been within our internet cameras and microphones this year. We have Joe Dobson, who was 0-1 on the year with a 643 ERA. Seven innings, nine hits, a lot of homer, walk two and struck out seven against Hal Newhauser. It's the best pitcher in the American League from the era, so it should be a good one today. Here's the lineup behind Dobson. It'll be Teddy Williams in left, Don DiMaggio in center. Dami is a 10-game hitting streak on the line. Culberson is in right field. Eddie Pellegrini at third, Johnny Pesky at short, Bobby Doerr at second, and Rudy York at first, with Hal Wagner behind the plate. This is a lineup that Dobson will be facing on a cold, windy day in the back bay. 49 degrees, winds are blowing out at 14. It'll be Eddie Lake leading out for the Tigers, playing short. Eddie Mayo, the second baseman, will bat second. Hal McCoskey, the center fielder, bats third. Hank Greenberg, the big power wallop guy, first baseman, cleans up. Wakefield, the left fielder, bats fifth. George Mullen, the right fielder, bats sixth. Pinky Higgins, someone who will play a big role in Red Sox history. The third baseman bats seventh. Rich Paul Richards, the catcher behind the plate, and as we said, Hal Newhauser on the mound. So let's get to it. Eddie Lake at 279, no homers and two RBI. This is the 13th game for the Tigers in 46. This will be the 15th game for the Red Sox. They are about 10% of the way through the season. And the pitch to Eddie Lake is a line drive into right center, or right field for a base hit. So it starts with a base hit. Well, Dobson on the air. The league is hitting 333 so far. Here's Eddie Mayo. Mayo at 298 with no homers and an RBI. There goes Link. Throw down to second, and they got him. So Pesky took the throw, and they got him. 65% chance, and I wasn't even paying any attention. So one out and a one strike count to Mayo. Here's the pitch. Rounder to third, Pellegrini. Over to York, two out. Tigers in their gray wool jerseys with Detroit written across the front. And script white B or white D on the Tiger blue hat. I think it was sometime in the 50s when they finally put the uh, um, orange D on the road and the white D at home. Red Sox in their home whites. Here's Barney McCoskey. Barney at 182, two homers and five RBI. And he hits a fly ball in the center. DiMaggio goes back 
to the dirt and makes the catch to retire the side. No runs, one hit, no errors. After one half, Detroit nothing and Boston coming up. And here is a lineup for Boston. Leon Culberson will lead it off. Johnny Pesky bats second. Ted Williams bats third. Bobby Doar, the second baseman, bats fourth. Rudy York will bat fifth. DiMaggio is in that big hitting streak, will bat sixth. Eddie Pellegrini bats seventh. Hal Wagner, the catcher, bats eighth. And Joe Dobson, who does not have a base hit this year, will bat ninth. It'll be Wakefield in left for Detroit. McCa Barney McCoskey in center. And Mullen in right. I believe McCoskey is the best of the three defenders. Pinky Higgins at third. Lake at short. Eddie Lake at short. Eddie Mayo at second. Hank Greenberg at first. Not great defensively. Greenberg is a better defender of them. And Paul Richards is a fantastic defender. Nine, and nine, nine range and a nine arm. And on the hill is Hal Neuhauser, who is 3-0 on the year with a 0.35 ERA. Wow. In 26 innings. He's allowed 16 hits. He's not allowed a home run. He has walked seven and struck out 27. So with all that, Leon Culberson at 433, a homer, and two RBI. Pitch from the left D is a ground ball up the middle. Base hit. That's how this one starts. Lake, go for it, should have had it. Mullen, by the way, is the best outfield arm. He's a seven out of 10. Johnny Pesky. At 328, no homers and nine RBI. Still, he's only struck out three times this year, and two of those were on opening day. Pitch to Pesky. Fly ball to the left. Wigfield should have it. He does. What do I hear in the first? Ted Williams at 250, three homers and 10 RBI. Up to 16 walks and 46 to two strikeouts. Newhauser delivers, and there's a ground ball to set short. Lake to Mayo for one, over to Greenberg. That's two, and that retires the side. No runs, one hit, no errors. After one, it's Detroit nothing, Boston nothing. Really, the fielder who plays next to second is a shortstop. So it'll be Greenberg, Wakefield, and Mullen here for the Tigers in the second. Greenberg, 277, which is dead on on his real life nut hitting average. Six homers and 13 RBI in 13. Remember, this is their 13th game. Pitch from Dobson is ball four. So a 3-2 fastball was outside. And that'll bring up Dick Wayfield. Dick at 289, three homers and four RBI. Greenberg not a threat to steal. First walk from Dobson. Here's the pitch. Got him! On an 0-2 pitch in at the knee, strike three, and so there's one out for Pat Mullen, who is hitting 200 with no homers or RBI. Pitch to Mullen is a line drive into right field for a base hit. Greenberg will move to third, and Mullen takes the extra base as Culberson couldn't hang on to it. So it's a single and an E9, and the Tigers have runners in scoring position with one out for Pinky Higgins who, judging by the, I think he might have been traded for George Kell. Because we know that one's coming. He's hitting 105 for the Tigers, no homers or RBI. Dobson deals and has got him. Swung on and missed on an 0-2 pitcher strike three. So two out for Paul Richards, who's four for nine this year. With, that's 444, a homer. That's one more than he had in real life and three RBI. Here's the pitch. Richards hits a grounder to third. Pellegrini charges it. He throws to first, and the Tigers are retired here in the second. No runs. One hit, one error. The Tigers strand two after an inning and a half. No score. So Bobby Doerr, Rudy York, and Dom DiMaggio here for the Sox here in the second. 50 degrees down. Wind coming down just a little bit. 14 out to right. For those of you in the bleachers, it's cold. Door at 305, two home runs and 10 RBI. Here's the pitch from Newhauser, and that's a line drive left center, and that will be extra bases. Door is in with a double, and the Sox start the inning off right. Here's Rudy York. He's sitting on a nine game hitting streak. 291, two homers and 10 RBI. 
Neuhauser delivers, and there's a ground ball, base hit right side. Door will hold at third. And now bring up Don DiMaggio, who's sitting on a 10 game hitting streak. 421, no homers and seven RBI. Here's the pitch. There's a ground ball to third. Higgins will try for two. Door scores, and I think they yanked it off. No, they did not. So it was a double play, and the run scores. So they go around the horn, 5-4-3. York and DiMaggio are retired. And Door will score, and it's 1-0 Boston. I'll bring up Eddie Pellegrini, who's hitting 222, three homers, one more than real life, and an RBI. Newhouse delivers, and there's a line drive to right. That's going to fall for a base hit. So Greenberg trying to leap for it, couldn't do it. And so that's the fourth Red Sox hit on the year. Newhouse only allowed American League hitters to hit 201 off him. Boston hitting 571 so far today. Here's Hal Wagner. Hal at 281, homer and seven RBI. Here's the pitch, and there's a ground ball left side base hit. So Pellegrini will hold it second. Wagner's on it first. And Newhauser, only thrown 29 pitches, has allowed five hits. Here's Dobson. Joe is 0 for 2. 5 for 50 on the real year. Pitch to Dobson. There's a ground ball to short. Lake crossed to first to Greenberg, and that retires the side. But not before the Red Sox get one run on four hits. That could have been so much worse. After two, it's Boston one, Detroit nothing. Al Newhauser, Eddie Lake, and Eddie Mayo to bat here in the third. Dobson, 32 pitches through two. Two hits, no runs, one walk, and two strikeouts. Good for around 130 pitches. Could get him all the way through. Here's the delivery to Newhauser. Struck him out. 2-2 two, two fastball swung on and missed for strike three. So three for Dobson. And I'll bring up Eddie Lake who led off the game with a single. Dobson delivers and Lake sw check swing strike three. So four for Dobson and here is Eddie Mayo 0 for one. Here's the pitch. Fly ball to right. Center. Back goes Culberson. He'll make the catch with with the win, and that retires the side. No runs, no hits, no errors. After two and a half, it's Boston one, Detroit nothing. So here's Leon Culberson. He started the game off for Boston with a single in the first. Newhauser has allowed five hits through two, has not struck out anybody, which is unusual. He struck out 275 in 292 real life innings, nor walked anybody. Pitch to Culberson as a ground ball to short. Blake has it. Over the first one out. Johnny Pesky, who's over for one. Tigers and Red Sox bottom of the third at Fenway on this April 30th, Tuesday afternoon. Here's the pitch. And there's a ground ball up the middle, and that's a base hit. So Pesky reaches. McCoskey, oh, he's going to try for two, and he's safe. They didn't even give me the odds for that. McCoskey must have fell asleep at the switch because Pesky just bolted for second and makes it easily. So here's Ted Williams. Ted is 0 for 1. Sox in business here in the third. Here's the pitch. There's a fly ball pop up. In comes Mullen. Out goes Greenberg. Greenberg has it for the second end. So Bobby Doerr doubled this in the second and scored. 1-0 Boston, bottom of the third. Here's the pitch. There goes Pesky. No, it gets away from Richards. It scored a wild pitch. So a 2-2 count now. With another run standing 90 feet away. The 2-2 to the door. He draws a walk. Yes, I know it's four balls for a walk. So that will bring up York, who's sitting on a 10-game hitting streak now. One for one. He's single. For Newhauser, here is a ground ball, base hit, and oh, that's going to go all the way to the wall. Mullen misplays it. Pesky scores. Door will try to score. The throw to the plate is not in time. York goes to third. 
So two runs come in. And so York reaches on a double and goes to third on the throw. It's 3 nothing Boston. They've gotten a new house. Seven hits for Boston this afternoon. Here's Don DiMaggio. He's 0 for 1. He's sitting on a 10 game hitting streak. Here's the pitch. And that is driven in the right center. McCoskey should have that. He does, and that retires the side. Not before the Sox get two more on two hits and no errors. We played three. It's three nothing, Boston. So it'll be Barney McCoskey, Hank Greenfield, Green Greenberg, and Wakefield. McCoskey's 0 for 1, and Thompson starts the fourth with a three-run bulge. Here's the pitch. Koski grounds that one in the right field for a base hit. And that's the third Tiger hit. Doesn't really have any speed. Here's Greenberg. He walked his first time up. Here's the pitch. And there's a sharp runner to Pesky over to Door for one, over to York for two. So 6 4 3 on the twin killing, and there's two out for Dick Wakefield, who struck out his first time up. He's 0 for 1. Pitch from Dobson, and there is a line drive to left that Teddy Williams corrals, and that's the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors. After three and a half, it's the Sox, three of the Tigers, nothing. So Pellegrini, Wagner, and Dobson here in the fourth. Pellegrini single his first time up. Neuhauser, 62 pitches through three innings, seven hits, three runs, all earned. One walk and no strikeouts. Clearly not himself this afternoon. Here's the pitch to Pellegrini, right back to Newhauser for the first step. So here's Wagner, he's 0 for 1. He strikes out, first one for Newhauser today. Swung on a 1 2 pitch. Go bring up Dobson, who's 0 for 1. This would be the first 1 2 3 inning for Newhauser. Got him! He strike three called an 0-2 pitch. So Newhauser finally settles in and retires Boston in an order. After four, it's the Red Sox three, the Tigers nothing. I'll bring up Pat Mullen, Pinky Higgins, and Paul Richards to follow. And if anyone should reach, it'll be the pitcher Newhauser. Mullen singled his first time up. The lefty's one for one. And he'll single again, this time in the hole and left. So the fourth hit for the Tigers. Here's Pinky Higgins. He struck out his first time up on a four for Dobson. Pitch. And there's a fly ball to left. Williams should have it. He does. Mulliner creeps back to first for the first out. And there is one out, pardon me. Paul Richards, 0 for 1. Pitch from Dobson. There goes Mullen, 58% chance to steal the base, and he does. So they catch the Red Sox napping. And so the Tigers have a runner in scoring position with one out and a 1-0 count to Richards. Played for the Giants, as you can see from that picture. And was a pretty good manager for the Baltimore Orioles in the 60s. Here's the pitch. Fly ball left center. DiMaggio range is over and that's two out. Mullen retreats back to second, will not advance, and that'll bring up Neuhauser, who struck out his first time up. 126 hitter on the real year. He does have some power, hit two home runs. And drove in 11. This time he swings and misses for strike three. So halfway home, no runs, one hit, no errors. It is Boston three, Detroit nothing. Top of the lineup for the Sox, Culberson, Pesky, and Williams here in the bottom of the fifth. Leon is one for two, he singled to start the ball game. Pitch to Culberson, line drive to Lake, who makes the stab, one out. Johnny Pesky, one for two, double the score, one of the three Boston runs. Pitch for Newhauser. there's extra bases, that'll get down the corner. Take that back, it was cut off by McCoskey, so it's still a single. Why did I think that was gonna be an extra base hit from that animation? Oh well. Here's Teddy Williams, he's 0 for two today. Here's the pitch. 
And he's no longer 0 for 2. That's going to drop into left center. That should be a single. It will be a single as Pesky holds. The runner is on first and second. No one out for Bobby Doerr, who doubled and walked. He has scored twice. One for one. Here's the pitch. Door. That one gets to the left side. Pesky will hold. So a single, and they're loaded for Rudy York, who is two for two. He has doubled and driven in two. Two run double, I believe, in the third. So the Red Sox again have Newhauser on the ropes. Newhauser has allowed 10 hits. 10. Through four and a third. Here's a pitch. And there's a line drive in the left. Wakefield has it. It is not deep enough to score Pesky, however. So two out to DiMaggio, who is still sitting on a 10 game inning streak. Bases are FOB, full of Boston's. Newhouse delivers, and DiMaggio strikes out. He swung on and missed. No runs, three hits, no errors. After five, it's Boston three, Detroit nothing. So top of the lineup for the Tigers here to start the sixth. Eddie Lake, Eddie Mayo, and Barney McCoskey. Lake is one for two with a single. Also struck out, one of Dobson's five. Here's the pitch, and this time he draws the walk. Second walk allowed by Dobson. Here's Eddie Mayo, he's 0 for 2. Lake, 37% chance to steal. Here's the pitch, and that'll be a base hit in the left center. It'll be, and Mayo's gonna try for two, and he gets it. So DiMaggio has a decent arm, couldn't get that one in in time. So nobody out in a three nothing game. Tiger's threatening here, and here's Barney McCoskey. It was one for two. Tigers trail three nothing. Pitch from Dobson. He got him. On an 0-2 pitch in at the knees for strike three. So here's Greenberg. He's 0 for 1. With a walk. Make it two walks. Dobson kind of takes the ball back in his glove on the full count pitch and snorts his way back to the top of the hill. Here's Dick Wakefield. He's over 2 with a strikeout. So he's the go-ahead run is Wakefield. One out, here's the pitch. There's a line drive to center. DiMaggio ranges over. He will dive and make the catch. Can throw home, here's the throw. It's not in time. So Lig scores a run, but DiMaggio might have saved two on that great diving catch out in left center. The Tigers are on the board, it's three to one. But there's two out for Mullen, who is single twice. So Dobson is saved by the out. Doesn't mind losing a shutout. As long as he got the out. Here's the pitch, Mullen. And to put some more runs on the board as that's into right center. Culberson can't play it correctly. Mayo scores. They're gonna try to get Greenberg out of the play. Here's a throw from Door. They don't have him. He's not in time. So Culberson Played it a bit late, and the Tigers had tied the game on the two-run double from Pat Mullen, who's now three for three. That'll bring up Pinky Higgins. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout. Here's the pitch. And there's a fly ball, all right. Carl Oberson's there. And that retires the side. Not before the Tigers tie the game on three runs on two hits and no errors through five and a half. It's Boston, three, Detroit, three. So I'm sure the Red Sox will be using the pen at some point. Kelly Green is the batter, one for two, he's single. Newhauser given new life. He's not lost this year, he's 3-0. Oh. Here's the pitch. And he takes advantage of that by getting Pellegrini on the black to strike out. On a one-two pitch, here's Wagner. Hal is one for two, he's singled and struck out. Newhauser now has whip four. Here's the pitch. Here's a ground ball, base in the right. In fact, that's going to run all the way to the wall. And so Wagner, the go-ahead run, is on second. And so the Red Sox are going to bunt. The Tigers are playing for a bunt. Dobson puts it down. It's going to be Richards. He throws to third, and Wagner's out. So on the fielder's choice, score two 
five because Higgins got back. So two out for Culberson, who's one for three. Pitch for Newhauser. And there's a fly ball on the left. Dick Wakefield is there, and that retires the side. Red Sox get no runs on one hit and no errors. We played six. It's three, three. So Dobson gets the fatigue warning here in the start of seventh. 107 pitches, six innings pitch, six hits, three runs. I believe they're all in. Yes, they are. Uh, no home runs. He has walked three and struck out six. Paul Richards, 0 for 2. Newhauser and Lake to follow. Pitch to Richards. Gives a fly ball to left. Williams is there, one out. Bring up Newhauser, who struck out twice. He's 0 for 2. Thompson delivers, and there is a line drive to center that DiMaggio catches. And there's two out. So three times through the lineup. Thompson's made it through. Here's Eddie Lake, who was one for two with a walk. And a strikeout and a run score. Here's pitch. Fly ball deep to left field. Williams goes back, and that ball is gone. So Eddie Lake puts the Tigers ahead four to three. On a home run into the screen with two out here in the seventh. So I'll bring up Eddie Mayo, who's one for three. He's doubled the score. Here's the pitch. Mayo walks. So the Tigers have pulled ahead here. Here's Barney McCoskey. He is one for three. He has singled and struck out. Mayo has a 75% chance of still. No, now he's got 96. The throw to first was not in time. Sox will pitch out. There goes Mayo. The throw down. And they don't have him. He's in there for a stolen base. That's his third of the year. So when it all goes wrong, it goes wrong for Boston. 1-0 pitch to McCoskey. Mayo was on his way to third. McCoskey draws ball four. Fifth walk issued by Dobson today to six strikeouts. Here's Hank Greenberg, who's drawn two of those walks. 0 for 1 with a run scored. Runners on first and second. Two out, top of the seventh. Tigers four, Boston three. Here's the pitch. And Greenberg flies this one to right. Culberson should have it. He does to retire the side. Not before Eddie Lake homers to give the Tigers a 4-3 lead. One run, one hit, no errors. Six and a half in the books. Detroit four, Boston three. So Pesky, who's two for three, single, double, and score. With Williams and Doerr to follow. And if anyone should reach, Rudy York, who's two for three with two RBI. Pitch to Johnny. Got him. Swung on and missed on an 0-2 pitch. Bring up Ted Williams. One for three with a single. There's the pitch. Williams flies this one in the right. Back goes Mullen in the track, two out. That's Bobby Doerr. They've not retired him. He is single, doubled, and walked. Scored twice is two for two. And Doerr flies this one to left. There's Wakefield. And that retires the side. Nothing across for Boston here in the seventh. After seven, it's Detroit four, Boston three. So last inning coming up here for Dobson, Wakefield, Mullen, and Higgins. Wakefield is 0 for 3 with a strikeout. Here's the pitch. Ground ball to second. Door to York, one out. Here's Mullen. Cat is 3 for 3, single twice and double. Here's the pitch. Draws a walk, ball four. So Dobson's pretty much done. We'll give him Pinky Higgins. Pinky's 0 for 3 with a strikeout. Here's the pitch. There goes Mullen. Grounder to short. They will not have a play at second. Throw to first in time for the out. Two out. Here's Paul Richards. Paul is 0 for 3. Here's the pitch. Here's a ground ball to first. D York takes it to the bag himself and that retires the side. No runs, one hit, no error, or nothing across, pardon me. After seven and a half, it's still the Tigers four, the Red Sox three. Skeeter Webb comes in to play second and will bat second. Good defender, seven out of 10 range. York, DiMaggio, and Pellegrini. York is two for three, a single and double. 
Driven in two. Red Sox trail four to three. Winds are now blowing out the center. A little bit warmer, 53 degrees as we play the bottom of the eighth. Newhauser delivers, and York has his third hit of the ball game in the right center. So here's a tying run, and here comes DiMaggio, who's 0 for 3, still sitting on a 10-game hitting streak, has a strikeout. Newhauser has struck out five. Here's the pitch, and there's a ground ball base hit left side. The streak hits 11. Pinky Higgins couldn't make a play on it. So DiMaggio is the go-ahead run on first. York the tying run on second. For Pellegrini, he was one for three. He is singled and struck out. Here's the pitch. Newhauser got him on an 0-2 pitch for strike three. Beautiful fastball at 96. Tigers have four runs on seven hits nowhere as they stranded seven so far. Red Sox three runs on 13 hits. They have pounded Newhauser. One error for Boston, and they have stranded seven. Wagner has struck out, singled and doubled. He's two for three. Here's the pitch. And there's a fly ball to center. Crowd likes it. Makoski retreats back to the track. But that's the big part of Fenway, and that's an out. York moves on to third. And so it's first and third, two out for a pinch hitter here. Tom McBride hits lefties at a 315 clip. Six for 12 on the year with a triple. A single would tie the game. Maggio probably can score from first depending on where the ball is hit. McBride grounds one to short. No one scoring here. Leg tosses it over to retire to side. No runs, two hits, no errors. We played eight at the back bay. The Tigers four, the Red Sox three. Of a lefty, righty, righty. So Randy Heflin comes in to pitch the ninth. He's pitched one inning this year and allowed a hit, walked two, and struck out two. As a win. In fact, I believe it was a game I did. One of the games here in this YouTube series. I want to say it was against, the, against Washington. Newhauser is 0 for 3 with two strikeouts. Not sure what the Tigers will leave him in or not. They do. He grounds one to third. Pellegrini has it. Throws it over to York. And not in time. It's a base hit for Newhauser. So he beats it out. An infield single. Eighth hit for the Tigers. Here's the hero for Detroit. Eddie Lake. Two for three. Solo shot in the seventh. Gave them a 4-3 lead. Has walked and struck out. Here's the pitch. Here's a ground ball to short. Pesky to door for one, New York for two. So Heflin gets the pitcher's best friend. Here's Skeeter Webb. He's two for five on the year. Two it's 400 with an RBI. In the real season, he had 219 with 17 RBI. Heflin delivers, and there's a ground ball to first base side. York flips it to the pitcher to retire the side. No runs, one hit, no errors. Bottom of the ninth in Fenway, Detroit four, Boston three. So the entire starting lineup from Boston has a hit. They had three runs on 13 hits and stranded nine. Tigers four runs and eight hits, they've stranded seven. Culberson, one for four, he singled to start the game. Newhauser in to pitch the ninth. There's a ground ball base hit, right center field. So Culberson is a tying run and he leads off the inning. He's on first. Here's Johnny Pesky. Two for four. Single, double, scored a run and struck out. Three of his four strikeouts have come on this series. This is the, the third week of the season. So this is the fourth game of this replay. And he struck out three, three times. Pitch. He draws a walk and so the 
Eske is a winning run on the first. Nobody out for Ted Williams, who was one for four with a single. He has one game winning RBI on the year. Sox are 10 and four in first place. Tigers are eight and four in second. Newhouser delivers. Williams draws a walk. So the bases are loaded. Nobody out for Bobby Dore, who has doubled, singled, scored twice, walked once. He's two for three. Pesky, the winning run is on second. Williams can just kind of sit right now and take a lawn chair and sit on first. 14 hits for the Sox. Here's the pitch. He walks home a tying run. So on a low and outside, they're loaded for York. Newhauser has walked four, has struck out six. He's allowed 14 hits. York is three for four. He's singled twice and doubled, driven in two. Pesky the winning run on third. Williams and Dorr pretty much placemats at this point. Pitch. Got him. Oh, that was big. He wanted a fastball. He got the breaking ball and watch strikes me on a 2-2 pitch. So here comes Hal White, who's thrown three innings, allowed two hits. He has walked four. Struck out no one. On the real year, 5-6-0 ERA, a, a one and a loss, 27 innings, 34 hits, five home runs allowed, 15 hits, or 15 walks and 12 strikeouts. Infield is in. I'm surprised the outfield isn't in because it's a sack fly loses the game anyway. DiMaggio singled his last time up to extended his hitting streak to 11. He has a strikeout on the dance card today, too. He's one for four. Here's the pitch. Infield flyer. The Tigers going to get out of this with just a tie. Higgins has it. And there's two out. For Pellegrini. And he has struck out twice. He's one for four with a single. No place to put anybody but we could about to get free, some free baseball. Here's the pitch. There's a pop-up. The Tigers get out of this with just a tie game. Richards takes off the mask and makes the catch. The Red Sox leave him loaded. With nobody out, they left him loaded. One run on one hit, no errors. After nine, it's Detroit and Boston tied at four. So four runs, eight hits, no errors for Detroit. They've stranded seven so far. The Red Sox, four runs on 14 hits. They pounded Al Neuhauser. They also have an error and stranded 12. So it'll be McCoskey, Greenberg, and Dick Wakefield here in the 10th. McCoskey, one for three. He has singled and struck out. Also drawn a walk. Heflin delivers. Draws a walk. Second walk from McCoskey. First walk for Heflin. Full count. Curve was high. Here's Greenberg. He has walked twice, scored a run, he's 0 for 2. That one delivers, ground ball to short. Can they get two? Pesky over to Door for one, to York for two. So that's a big one, two out for, for Dick Wakefield. Dick is 0 for 4 with a strikeout. Pitch from Heflin. There's a sharp rounder to Door. Throws to York and now retires the side. No runs, no hits, no errors. After nine and a half, it's the Tigers for the Red Sox for. So here's Hal Wagner. Hal is two for four. He is single, double, struck out. White was given the impossible task of keeping the Tigers in the game in the, in the ninth, and he did. Pitch to Wagner. Hopped up. Lake has it by second. One out. Now bring up Eflin and we'll back him here. In real life, he actually went two for three. Two singles. And an RBI. If we get to the 11th for the Tigers, it'll be Mullen, Higgins, and Richards. Pitch from White. Ground or fly ball, left center field, or left field. That's a base hit. So Heflin's on with a single. And I'll bring up Culbertson, who's two for five. He's single twice and scored once. 
Eflin, the winning run on first. Pitch to Culverson, popped up first base side. Greenberg should have it. Where they at? I'm still wondering why Pesky didn't score from third on that fly ball. Would have won the game. Speaking of Johnny, he's two for four. Single, double, struck out, scored once, and walked. Pitch from White. And that will get down for a base hit. It'll be cut off by Wakefield. Heflin goes to third. Pesky rounds first. And so runners on first and third. And here's Ted Williams. So the game again is at third base. Pesky's on first. Williams is one for four. He has singled and walked. I can't imagine they give him anything to hit, but Bobby Doerr is on deck should he reach. Here's a pitch. Williams swings, and there's a drive to right. Back goes Mullen to the track. He catches it to retire the side. So, no runs on two hits. In fact, uh, Mullen ran into the wall. So no runs on two hits. After 10, it's the Tigers for the Red Sox four. So here's Mullen. Mullen is three for three. His single twice doubled. Driven in two and walked once. Eflin starts his third inning, 33 pitches on the books with a hit and a walk. Here's a pitch. Grounder to short. Pesky to York. Does he beat it out? No, he doesn't. In fact, Pesky had to make a tremendous time just to make the play. Here's Pinky Higgins. He's 0 for 4 with a strikeout. Pitch from Heflin. Line drive up the middle. That's a base hit. So a single for Higgins. He's now 1 for 5. Here's Richards. 0 for 4. One out. That one delivers. There goes Higgins to throw down, and they got, no, he's safe. He had a 44% chance of stealing that base, and he stole it. A gutsy move by the Tigers, and they had the go-ahead run in scoring position with one out. Here's Richard still. 1-0 count. Here's a pitch. There's a line drive into right center. That's going to score a run. Higgins will score. Richards will round first, hold there. The throw home is not in time from Dimash or from Culberson. And the Tigers pull ahead five to four. Hal White. I wonder if he'll bat here. He's 0 for 1 on the year. He struck out 0 for 7 in real life. He will bat, and he hits a line drive right back to Heffern. Ground ball to Heflin. Over to Door for one, to York for two. So it's a twin killing. It was a sharp comebacker to Heflin. So score at 1 4 3. And that'll bring up Bobby. That finishes the Tiger 11th. They got the go ahead run and on two hits and no errors. So it'll be Door, York, and DiMaggio to keep this one alive for Boston. Five runs on 10 hits, no errors, and seven stranded for Detroit. Four runs on 16 hits for Boston with an error, and they've stranded 14. Door is two for three. He has singled, doubled, walked twice, scored twice, and drove in a run. Pitch. And he starts the inning with a walk. That'll bring up Rudy York. Rudy is three for five. He has singled twice and doubled, driven in two, and struck out. He has. 17 real life homers. Two so far on the replay. Door the tying run on first. New York the winning run at the plate. Pitch from White. And there is a ground ball to short. Lake's only play is going to be to first. And does he get him? Yes, he does. So it's a good play. It was a bang bang play. But Door moves up to second for Dom DiMaggio, who is one for five. He is singled and struck out. Here's a pitch from White. Got him. So the Sox are down to their last out for Eddie Pellegrini. Who have they got left on the bench? To face a righty. Um, hmm. 
It's looking mighty thin, Rabbit. I'm gonna go with Rip Ruffle. So Russell was one for nine on the year, but that one hit was a triple. Hit six home runs, SG winning RBI already on the season. The home run would win it, but just get on base. You just want to keep this one going. Wagner to follow, who was two for five. If Russell reaches. Pitch. There's a line drive base hit. That's going to tie the game at five. Mullen cuts it off. The throw into second. Russell's in with a double. We are tied at five here in the 11th. And here comes Hal Wagner, who can win the game on a base hit. He has two already today. He has single, doubled, and struck out. There's the pitch. Wagner hits a fly ball to right center. Back goes Mullen to the track. It's over. Wagner will walk it off with a game-winning home run. And the Red Sox win this one in 11, 7 to 5. Can you believe it? I really can't. I thought they were done. <laughs> when, they, when Detroit scored that run to make it 5 to 4 in the 11th, I thought they were done. Detroit goes to 8 and 5. Five runs on 10 hits, no errors. Red Sox go to 11 and 4. Seven runs on 18 hits in an error. So White takes a loss. Newhouser and Dobson are the starters. They won't give you the stats. Let me do that for you now. Eight and 30 innings for Hal. 14 hits. Boston just pounded him. Four runs all in. No homers. Walked four and struck out seven. 152 pitches. They say his stuff was negative, and I believe that. He just wasn't very good. Joe Dobson, eight innings, seven hits. Four runs all in. The home run to Eddie Lake, which sent this game to extra innings. He walked six and struck out six. Took three hours and 26 minutes to play. So let's go through the lengthy recap. The Tigers failed to score and a hit, one walk in an air in the second. The Red Sox took advantage. They got a run on four hits in the second. Rudy York extended his hitting streak to nine. Don DiMaggio brought him home on a fielder's choice to make a one nothing Boston. Rudy York would make it three nothing Boston on a two run double in the third. Boston had fought three hits in the fifth and couldn't score. Oof. And then back roared the Tigers. They sent seven to the plate in the sixth. Dick Wakefield hit a liner scoring lick to make it 3-1. to one. Then Pat Mullins' double made it 3-3. Three, three. In the seventh, the Tigers went ahead on any Lake solo homer to make it 4-3 to three Detroit. Don DiMaggio advanced the streak to 10 games with a single in the eighth. And the Red Sox would send seven to the plate in the ninth, but only end up with one run. And that was on a bases-loaded walk, which scored Culberson. Dort drew it. The Red Sox had the runners on, had runners everywhere and could not score another run. In the 11th, the Tigers actually went ahead 5-4. to four. Paul Richards with an RBI single that scored Pinky Higgins. But the Red Sox get three in the 11th. On a first on a Rip Russell double that scored Bobby Dora to tie the game, then Hal Wagner sent everyone home happy in a two run shot into the triangle. So Eddie Lake goes two for four for the Tigers with two runs. Pat Mullen goes three for four for the Tigers with a double and two RBIs. For the Red Sox, the heroes today, Bobby Dora two for three with a double, three runs and three walks. Rudy York goes three for six with a double and two RBI. Hal Wagner three for six, a double, a homer, and two RBI. Johnny Pesky three for five with a double. Randy Heflin pitched three innings and picks up the win for Boston in relief. Three innings, one earned run, three hits. He walked one and didn't strike out anyone. He goes to two and all this year. Hal White takes the hard luck loss. Two and a third innings, three earned runs. All of those here in the eleventh. Four hits. He walked one and struck out one. He goes to all and one. Wagner is the game MVP on that home run, on his game-winning home run. So with that, and without anything else played on this Tuesday, the Red Sox now hold a game and a half lead over the Yankees at 11 and four. The Tigers slip back to third. Friday afternoon, you will see the Cleveland Indians and the Boston Red Sox here on the Retro Sports Network Red Sox Cyber 46 replay. I'm Ron Chuckett. Until then, we'll talk to you the next time. <laughs>